First, I want to thank Tanner Tees for sponsoring this video. After years of being the most used batting tee in professional baseball, they're now shaking things up a bit. The Tanner Heavy is a new tee that has just been released and is pretty clever. Let's jump into our content and then right after that I'll talk a little bit more about the Tanner Heavy. In this video we're going to be talking about backspin. Now to get backspin most consistently, we want to hit the bottom half of the baseball. Obviously when we hit the bottom half of the baseball we're going to get backspin and the ball we're going to get a good trajectory. Now, I was taught and I was always under the belief that similar to a golf ball, you want to hit down on the ball to create spin to get it up in the air. Watching a bunch of swings of the best hitters in the game, talking to some of the best coaches, that philosophy I feel like is starting to change. Um, but, the, but the best hitters you notice do not chop down on the baseball. They have a nice level swing where their back gets on plane with the ball and they're level to the, tra to the trajectory of the pitch. Now, most pitches come in between a six to 14 degree angle. So we actually want our swing to be uphill about six to 14 degrees. So when we say uppercut, it is an extremely slight upper swing. It's not a monster uppercut. We're not swinging down. Level to me is level on the trajectory of the pitch. Backspin is important because that's what helps get carry on the baseball. You're gonna be able to take that ball that just would normally flare maybe over the second baseman or shortstop's head, getting quality backspin, that ball's gonna continue flying into the gap, hopefully turn some singles into doubles, doubles into homers. Um, some ways to tell if you're not getting backspin, obviously, full side ground balls. Um, and a lot of times, if you don't pull the ball correctly, you will hit line, you can hit line drive to the pull side, but if you see top spin, on your line drives, you're not doing something correct. And it all comes back to a proper backspin and how to get backspin. So here we have a few drills that can help improve your backspin and that help to get better carry on the baseball. The first one we like to do is called the 45 degree uh, angle drill. So we're gonna put this on the outside part of the plate. And I'm gonna open up, I'm gonna be 45 degree angle. I'm gonna take the, this line of home plate right to my back foot. And what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna be in my legs, I'm gonna have some rhythm, and I'm gonna get on plane early, and I'm gonna try to hit the ball a line drive to the back corner of the cage. Hitting in a cage is nice because you can see the flight of the ball and you can see just the way it travels and hopefully you can get nice, consistent back to them. So how we're gonna do this drill, we're gonna set up, we're gonna make sure we're in our front legs our front leg because our front leg is uh, is kind of what helps guide this swing. So we'll be here and then we're gonna get on plane as early as we can and try to hit the bottom half of the baseball. Now when I say get on plane, I wanna get here and be level for as long as possible through this baseball. All right, now our next drill is gonna be the inside part, we're gonna learn to pull the ball on a half speed swing drill. So we're gonna take our tanner heavy, we're gonna move it over, and we're gonna place it on the front part of the plate, raise it up just a little bit, okay? And we'll put the ball here. Now the goal, the goal for this drill is I wanna get to this ball properly, okay? Now a lot of people wanna pull the baseball by flying their hips open, trying to get around the ball like this. Basically our thought here is we want to beat the barrel to a spot, beat the ball to a spot with our barrel. So we don't want to have to make contact out here. We're okay with making it back here if we do it properly. So the drill is we're going to take a swing half speed, keep our elbow in, we're going to get here and just continue rotating to the ball. So once we get our elbow in, its, in, the, in the slot, we're gonna keep coming, we're just gonna rotate, meet the ball, and continue going. So the drill's gonna look something like this. We're gonna try to keep the elbow tied close to the body for as long as possible. Swing at about half speed. Trying to see backspin as it's coming off of the tee.
First off, I'd like to thank Tanner Tees for sponsoring our video today. They just released a new tee, and I'm pretty excited about it. I want to show you guys some of the features. This is called the Tanner Heavy. It's a new tee. It's a 10-pound base. First off, let's talk about the base. It's pretty cool because it is designed to actually fit on elevated tees. So you can kind of you move it all around, and it's also okay if you want to put it on a flat surface. But some of the standard just square tees, you know, if you want to put it on the corner or something, it's kind of floppy. And this one is strong. It's not going to fall over. 10 pounds, real durable, solid base. All right, now they also feature two new compression rubber caps. They have a new shape that provides a better grip and they now include weather and sun resistant properties in their formula. And they're calling this tee the Tanner Heavy and it comes in three stem sizes, the adult, the youth, and the low. And one thing that's kind of cool too, even though it's a 10 pound heavy base, it's still constructed in a way where it's easy to pick up and transport and move around. So it is a lot more portable than you'd expect from a standard heavy tee. So this thing, I, I really like this. I think this thing's pretty cool.